Montana. I'm Lauren Chase, the Multimedia Outreach Specialist for the Montana Stock Growers Association. I'd like to share with you today how I got out to Big Sky Country and what I do to advocate for agriculture. Agriculture is the foundation of everything that we do on this planet, yet many people cannot begin to tell you the first thing about it. I grew up in Iowa and I saw corn and combines and farmers all the time. Driving down the road I really didn't spend much time thinking about what they're doing and why they're doing it. And now that I'm involved in agriculture I find that to be very appalling. When I decided to be a Hawkeye I really didn't know what I wanted to do with my life but I knew that I enjoyed learning about other cultures so I decided to study anthropology. In doing so, I, I ended up at a chimp sanctuary to intern for a summer and learn about chimpanzees and how they interact with each other. When I got back to school, I decided, you know, I really need something to add to anthropology, so I, I added journalism. That was probably a very good decision because it allowed me to learn about culture but also learn how to communicate at, at a mass level. In doing so, I noticed that the stock growers had an internship opportunity one summer to uh, produce multimedia pieces about ranching. So I thought, well, hey, uh, that could be a good combination of both of my degrees, and, and ranching is a subculture of America and something I don't know much about, so I'm going to go out and learn about it and bring my video skills and, and produce some pieces for them. The first time on a ranch was the first time I saw a branding. And, you know, if you're not really used to cattle and cowboys and irons and, you know, mooing all the time, it's, it's a, a stimulation overload. But I tell you what, it was one of the best experiences of my life because that summer, in, in a three month time period, I realized just how important agriculture is for the entire world. It is literally the foundation of culture. We could not do anything if we did not have farmers and ranchers working every day to provide for us. And I went back to the University of Iowa after my internship um, in Montana and I knew that that's what I needed to do was become an, a an advocate for agriculture. Um, and, and it became a passion of mine, but more importantly, it became an essential passion because many, many people do not understand agriculture. And so with journalism, I can communicate on a mass level um, about what you know raising cattle means. I was hired full time after I graduated at the Montana Stock Growers um, as a multimedia outreach specialist. And that's kind of a mouthful, but what it means is I travel to our ranches um, and take videos and photographs of daily ranch life. And I, I try my best to have them explain why they love ranching, why they do what they do, in language that an everyday consumer could understand. Then I take that content and I put it onto social media so that we can have that mass communication and have um, an outlet for people who want to learn about how their beef is produced. Hey, come to our Facebook page, watch a short video, and ask that rancher a question if you want to. In my job, I'm also producing a series of coffee table photo books that will feature Montana Family Ranching. And this is just another way for consumers to be able to visually see and learn about what's going on. What people need to realize is, Farmers and ranchers, they like the same things that everybody else likes. They have the same problems in, in family life that everybody else has. They just do a different job. And um, and so it's not some sort of other. We, we are all intertwined in, in this world and in agriculture, especially because we all consume the products. And so um, opening up these dialogues and especially using social media to do it, um, I think is, is key to um, educating consumers and farmers and ranchers about where our common ground lies.